Good morning, friends of the internet. Oh, you guys can see my pimple cream. Oh, so exciting. <laughs> Anyways, um, good morning. The dog is crying because he wants to go downstairs and I am not down there, clearly. So I am sitting at my desk. <laughs> And I have decided that I wanted to convert my crawl space, which I think some of you guys have seen. I'm going to show you guys in just a minute. My crawl space into like additional pantry storage because I really don't have, like I have cabinets, like don't get me wrong, but they're super like, they're like narrow and deep. So it's really hard to access stuff properly. So anyways, oh my gosh, the dog. He's fine, by the way. <laughs> Um, so I was thinking all of like the food stuff that I have extras of I would like to put in the crawl space slash now new pantry to set up so um, I like mapped it out and I'll show you guys right now what I'm gonna get so here is everything let me get my other things and put it away so this is um, an Erin Condren notebook. These are these. I should say this is the larger version. This is the eight and a half by 11 version. So I like having like the big ones once in a while. Um, this is an older one. It's got like the older um, flags in the back. So anyway, but they still have these um, and then you can like pick your own cover. This is my work one because it has my title on there. Um, but I've used it for several different things, but I wanted a bigger one so I could like really map out the one wall that I want to utilize. So this is how funky the space is. So this is 95 inches. Um, this doesn't really matter. This kind of goes on further, but this is 52 inches and then there's this like little funky thing here. And then it goes up into this like weird angle. So I wanted to get some shelving and I found some on Ikea. It's the Omar collection. And these are all the things that I want to get. There's also these like little hanging baskets that I thought would be kind of cool for like, I don't know, smaller items or things like that. Um, even like little like dry sauce packets or something. Anyways, um, but yeah, I just posted this on the internet and then these are all the items I need to get. However, posted this and then all of a sudden I'm like oh snap so here are all the items that I'm looking at so um yeah so this is the one shelf so that's gonna be this shelf right here this three tier and then the one in the middle is kind of this more narrow one which will go right here and then this is the same exact size but it's shorter because like I got this little funky thing and then that's this one right here and these are these little baskets that I thought would be um, kind of cool. Let me show you the baskets. So you can either do it on the front, like you can clip it on the front, or you can hang them on the side. So I'm thinking about hanging them on the side because the space that I have is a little bit narrow. Um, and the nice thing about these shelves is like if I get them from like a Home Depot or Lowe's, they're quite deep because they're, you know, used for garage spaces and stuff. These are only um, like 14 inches deep. So that's actually perfect for this space, to be honest. And then the shelves are adjustable. So um, I can, you know, mess around with the shelving heights. Like see this one, that like, these two are really close. So, um, and then every shelf I believe is rated for 75 pounds, if I remember right. Um, so yeah, but uh, you know, if I wanna put some cans or something like that. And then what I'm planning to do is like either paper goods or other things, like I'm just gonna kinda like fill this up you know what I mean because it's just gonna be it gonna be funky but I'm probably gonna just keep these at the same height and then kind of mess with these ones there are six shelves so I can kind of mess with the ones up here but I like you know that this would be hopefully consistent um but we'll see we'll see I'm not totally sure how I want to you know do all of that but um anyway the dog is hooting and hollering still so why don't we go see what the heck his problem is he just wants to go outside. He doesn't need to go out right now, but he just wants to go out. That's that's the name of his stinky game. Um, I feel like, here we go. Oh my gosh, you guys, I found this yesterday. I was so pleased with myself. I got this like go wild pad, like way back in the day. I think my first go wild, it's like a little sticky note and it's from Ivy and Ink. Um, 
yeah but isn't it so cute it's like little dancing llamas and go wild austin texas oh. so anyway i'm trying to actually use up actually i'll sit back down and i'll show you i'm trying to use up i've got like three little pads on my desk currently but you know how you have like all these like you know cute little things this is another like go wild thing this one's from caffeine queens thanks caffeine queens i don't know when i got this one it was if it was last year or the year before but i have all these like little posty notes and I'm trying to get through them so since ugh, since i'm working from home um i figured this would be like a perfect time to do that because i do write notes quite a bit um because of you know what i'm working on or whatever so uh yeah i can't remember everything y'all oh hi did you need something what's what's the problem hmm what's the issue oh just wants to go downstairs i'm telling you guys he just wants to go downstairs oh goodness this animal okay well we're gonna go on a walk um so i can get him to shut the trap <laughs> um but yeah oh let me show you the um crawl space really quick so like some of these things are some of the things i want to put into the crawl space like stuff that like when i go to sam's and stock up on a couple of things i just you know, don't want to put everything in the fridge because I don't have the room for it. And I don't have room for it in my um, other food storage. So this is the space. This is the wall I want to put it on. Um, it's not super wide right here. And I just have some like weird storage right now. I got some Sprite. I got some like, this is all like wall art. And then I've got a skeleton. <laughs> I've got skeletons in my closet, you guys. <laughs> There's a skeleton doing the splits. And then I've got this like little Christmas bell. And then my brother's got a bunch of crap over there. He needs to take that somewhere with him. But anyway, it kind of like goes down. Cause it's like, uh, it's under the stairs. So um, everything will go to like right here. And then I'll have additional that like shorter one will be over here and that'll be a fine amount of space for just extra stuff. So, um, yeah, but, uh, this is it. It's tiny, but I'm grateful that I have this space, but, um, it's just weird to design it and things like that. Cause like right now I've got, not food storage, but I have like paper storage and stuff in here, which I can totally keep in here, which is not a problem. And yes, I am rich with the toilet paper currently. <laughs> um, I bought like two of these cause they were on like a really good deal um, at my local grocery store, like right before all of this happened. And plus I needed it anyways. So I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and then I've got my paper towels. I've got, um, Kleenex, I've got some napkins, and then I've got some like baby wipes. Um, I got some baby wipes in here too. I use baby wipes for my dog in the spring because of his paws, because um, he's nasty. And then I've got extra toilet paper, and then right here are doggy pee pee pads, which I'm thinking of donating. Um, I'm not really sure. I got the dog pee pee pads for Doyle when he was having some issues like a couple of months back. And of course, as soon as I bought them, um, everything seemed fine. And then I got him like two days later because I ordered them on Amazon. He hasn't had a problem since. So I'm like, great. But maybe I'll just keep them, um, you know, in case I, I don't know, ever get another puppy or something. I don't know if Doyle could tolerate a puppy. I kind of want to get another dog. But, um. I just don't know how Doyle would do with it. I mean, I kind of feel like he'd be okay with it, but he'd just be super annoyed. So, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm clearly not ready for another dog. I'm just saying, like, puppy fever is real. I feel like this is, like, baby fever for, like, people that actually, like, want children. Um, but it's, like, puppy fever because, you know, 
dogs are awesome. <laughs> so anyway, but um, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go, because there's Stinky McGee over here. You can see, blinded by the light. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go on a walk and I will see you guys in a little bit, bye. All right, so a few hours have passed. I just groomed the dog, which you can see. Um, hair all over my shirt. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. I groom him outside because it's better that way. And the like little tufts of fluff just float away. And uh, birds and other creatures pick up his fur and you know put it in their nests and stuff too. So, I mean, it's a lot of fur, but when you like pack it down, it's really not that much. So, anyway, used my little Furminator and then the neighbors right over there that I share a fence with They have a dog, but they were not outside which is weird um, But they have one of those like little teacup dogs So it can't like get under the fence or anything, but it's just like, yipping the whole time So Doyle was kind of freaking out. He does not like that. He does not like other dogs for the most part So yeah, but he's looking looking a little bit better. I just Needed to get some of the fluff off that boy, you know, but he really hates getting groomed like I don't know as a puppy He loved getting brushed But I don't know as an old dinky man. He doesn't like it anymore. <laughs> oh goodness um, Yeah, so okay as I was talking about my story about the crawl space. I Think I didn't complete the story so um so there's the crawl space. I went online on ikea.com and I'm gonna cut this out if I already said it because I don't think I did, but maybe I did. Um, unfortunately, they are out of stock of two of the three shelving units that I need. So I am not gonna order it. I was just gonna order it online because all their stores are closed um, in the US due to COVID-19, which I totally understand. I'd rather not pay $30 shipping twice, you know? Like, I really just don't wanna go to the store, like, clearly. Um, I can't go to the store right now anyways, but I figured if, you know, their online business was still running, which looks like it is, I would just order it, but they don't have everything. So maybe I'll check next week, see if they got any more stock, and if they did, then I'll just order it then. So. I'm just gonna wait till everything is in stock because it's not something that it's like, oh my gosh, I need to have this right now. No, it's just something I was thinking about. So anyway, I'm gonna go change my shirt because ew and gross, I don't know. People ask a lot if Doyle sheds. The answer um, isn't yes, it's more like hell yes. Oh, well, good timing. My mother's on the phone and I'll talk to you later, bye. Well, hello and good evening. It is uh, nine-ish, something like that, and I'm heading to bed in a few. Um, I had some dinner. Um, my camera was up here, so I didn't feel like walking upstairs because your girl's lazy. <laughs> um, I made some str sh some shrimp. No, uh, shrimp is what it's called. <laughs> I made some shrimp scampi. It was like a frozen thing from Sam's. Actually, it's from a while ago, but it was like a frozen thingamajig. So I will definitely have that for the next few lunches or dinners as well, because there's quite a bit. So I didn't get any this past Sam's trip that was yesterday. So I actually just published that video because it was uploading. So that is now published so you guys can see. So I did actually upload two videos today because yesterday I just didn't get to my Friday video. So whatever. It's fine. Um, so yeah, but I had some shrimp and I made some rice. Doyle also got some rice because I just made the rest of the white rice that I had. Um, I need to get some more white rice at some point, but you know, whoop, there goes his tail. I got your tail. <laughs> so anyway, but um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I am going to get this footage into the computer because I already have the other, how many clips? Two clips? <gasps> it's a three clipper today, y'all. It's a three clipper. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get this at least in my computer and I'll get it edited at some point. Um, I don't know, maybe tonight? Probably not. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. But you'll see it. 
when you see it. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing good and had a good weekend. Let me know how your weekend was in the comments. If you got some stuff done, maybe you took lots of naps, drank lots of wine. I don't know. Let me know how your weekend was. And um, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Bye. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. Yeah.